The thing in this box literally changed my life when I was five years old. Like, I ain't even playing. This is not the original one. I ordered it from eBay, but I'm so excited because if there has ever been a through line in my life, like something that has been with me forever and ever, amen, it is photography. From the time I was five years old, because of what's in here, I have absolutely loved photography. My grandma actually started buying me these postcard packs, or at least I thought they were postcards. They're not. I remember them better now, but these little photo thingies about wild animals that was like a monthly subscription when I was five years old, or at least that's when I remember it, and I became obsessed with the pictures. And I think she might have thought that I was obsessed with the facts, because like on each card, there's like facts about the animal, right? So like Virginia possum. The Virginia possum is one of more than 70 possum. Do you say opossum or possum. I mean, we say possum in the South, but like, do other people say opossum? Cause that's how it's spelled. Anyway, one of 70 species in America, it has adapted to the presence of people and it's very diet now includes food scraps from trash cans. So I think my grandma thought I liked the facts. I did not. I mean, I'm sure I liked the facts, but what I really loved was the photography. Like, look how cool that is. This was back in the nineties, clearly, cause I was I'm an 86 baby, so this was like early 90s. And I can just say the photography is not quite as great as I thought it was when I was five, but this is what started my love of photography. My other grandma, when I graduated high school, gave me $500 to buy a laptop for college. Do you know what I bought instead? A digital camera. Boy, she was mad. I mean, she was like so mad, but you know what? I don't care. Throughout my first two years in college, I worked at my favorite job ever, and that was the one hour photo lab at Walmart. Like, you know, when, when we used to have film and you would take the little disposable cameras and you would drop them off at the one hour lab and the people would develop it and then you get your pictures back, I did that. And as an 18, 19, 20 year old, I made some real good money and it was literally my favorite job. Like getting to look at everybody's pictures, so fun. When I started my first business right out of college, guess what it was? It's right, a photography business. I quickly learned that because I love it so much, if I turned it into a jobby instead of a hobby, I didn't love it anymore. So I hung up my like professional photography hat pretty quickly and really didn't even get to like dive deep into it. But I took elective classes in college about photography that I didn't need to be taking. I spent so many years of tax return money on camera equipment, RIP, tax returns. Any hoops, you get it. Photography is something that I've always loved. It's the reason that I got into YouTube because I had a decent camera and I could start filming and I just enjoy the like art and the creativity of putting together videos, putting together photos, all the things. I love it so much, but there's um a big problem. These boxes are where all my pictures are stored. I haven't printed photos since 2014 or 2015. My photo organization system is a mess. Every memory from 2004 to 2013 is living on these CDs in these boxes. Every memory from 2014 to now is backed up on the cloud, but not printed or organized in any way. And every childhood memory I have is in a box at my parents' house. My summer project is to get this, all of this, under control. I want to scan all of my childhood photos in, which are in a box in my parents' house, and get them digitally stored on the cloud and get myself copies of them. I want to get all the photos off the CDs because I don't even have things to read these CDs anymore and get them in the cloud. I want to organize my cloud storage and double back everything up so that it's not just on one service. I want to back up all of my cloud storage onto external hard drives. I want to print some of the photos from like 2014 to now because for whatever reason, I know why, because I had a second kid and I just ran out of time and a business and all the things, but I haven't printed pictures since 2014, at least on a regular basis. So I want to print pictures from that point to now. And after I'm done with all of that and everything's all organized, I want to put together some digital folders for my children so that they have pictures 
anytime they need them. Like if they, you know, are 30 years old and they're like, oh, mom took a picture of me when I was two, I'd love to find it, they can have that. Now, will we still have cloud storage when they're 30? Heck if I know. Everything will probably be living in like a holographic computer. You'll just go like boop, 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 and like the photo will be there. But uh, that's, I'm working with what I got right now. It is a huge undertaking, like massive. And we have a really busy summer, but I take a lot of the summer off as a business owner You'll still see videos here on YouTube. I'm going down to one a week next month, but you'll still see videos here. I will batch out, but I take a lot of the summer off because my kids are home and we only have so many summers with our kids. And so I like the whole reason I started my business was to spend more time with my family. So I take my summer slow work wise. So that's working in my advantage, but we do have a crazy summer. We're going on like a two week trip. We have other trips scattered in. We have middle school prep going on for my oldest son, just lots of things. So this is ambitious, but I'm hoping by showing you this that maybe you'll join me on like some kind of summer project. It doesn't have to be this. It doesn't have to be that you're also like really behind on backing up your photos and all the things, but something in the summer that you've been meaning to do, been wanting to do, whatever, I'm hoping you'll join me. Like we should all have fun summer projects that when we get done, we're gonna be like, dang, I'm so glad I did that. There's just one major problem that I have. <laughs>